What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets, back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to show you guys a technique that I figured out on how to make a lot of coins without really having to do a lot of work. And this is really good, especially at the beginning of the game, because there aren't a lot of ways to make coins from sniping auctions and then reselling the cards at a high price. So what you do, you go to Season Mode... Uh, you can see I've already started a game. I've played a bunch of games. I'm in game 13 and barely spent any uh, time using this method, or at least time that I have to use. If you look down at the bottom, it's, you see I have an overall rating of 76. The opponent has an overall rating of 58. So in a matchup, I'm pretty much going to win every time. So I'm going to go to the matchup. Um, and usually people... Uh, I'll pause it real quick. People will like spend a lot of time grinding, playing season games, because it's not that hard to win season games, but it does, does take a lot of time and a good bit of concentration. So what you do, if you look up at, at, uh, look up at the top whenever I press continue, you see the little play button? That actually turns on autoplay, so your team will automatically play the game. So what I've been doing, I basically go into season mode, press autoplay on, it'll automatically play through all of the quarter. And uh, the only thing that you really have to do is press continue, then it'll play the next quarter, press continue, and what, whatever. So for each game that you win, you'll get 800 coins, and also for each quarter that you win, you get 100 coins. So that's 1,200 coins per 8 minutes of game time. So if you calculate that up uh, into 60 minutes, 60 divided by 8 is 7.5. So if you multiply that by uh, the 1,200 coins, you'll get almost 10,000 coins per hour. And so even if you have things to do, if you've got work you need to get done, you can basically just use this. As you can see, All I, oh, you also get 25 XP for quarter. Um, and there's the 100 coins. Just press continue, it'll play the next quarter. And if you're worried about losing a game, if you're down and uh, don't want to have to lose a game in your season, you can basically, it's not hard at all to score in season games in uh, this game, which is good because uh, it makes it easy to win season games, but bad because it kind of makes you underestimate how hard head-to-head -head games are going to be. But it's uh, really good, especially in the beginning of your seasons, whenever you're doing it, because uh, the earlier seasons are going to have lower rated opponents. So uh, the higher your rating is, the higher your opponents are going to be uh, in the future. But especially at the beginning of the game, if you haven't done a lot of season games, before figuring out this method, I think I'd only played two or three season games and I'm on season three right now and I'm pretty sure I've made at least 30,000 coins uh, just from using this method and it's required me no effort like I basically just sit and watch Netflix and press continue every two minutes and it's super easy uh, if you want to play the season games you can go ahead it's still a good way to make coins but this way you can make a lot of coins, and you don't really have any effort into it, or have to put any effort into it. So, uh, hope that is useful for you guys. I'm gonna save and exit. Um, just gonna take a quick look at my head-to-head. -head. Currently at 2,000 fans, still trying to work my way up. Um, I've had a lot of stuff to do lately, so I haven't been able to do as much. Uh, but I have gotten a decent amount of coins. I don't think I've gotten any new players... Actually, I don't think I had Tristan Thompson last time, uh, but I, let's see, I think I bought him and, or no, I bought Luol Deng, so uh, yeah, I've got those guys, we'll go ahead and check my sets, uh, see if there's anything that I can trade in, we'll go to upgrades, um, we'll go down, do I have enough silver players to exchange? No, not enough silver players. Do I have enough bronze players to exchange? Yes, I do. So we'll go ahead and do that and see what we can get. Uh, since you can't really sell bronze players, nobody really needs them. Okay, we'll flip it over and see. 
Hoping it's higher than a 65, because that's basically the lowest silver you can get. 63. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, but we can just use that in a uh, silver card trade-in for a gold card. So, uh, Still working on getting an elite card. I really want to wait until the prices go down for the elite cards, because they're crazy expensive right now. We'll go look. Actually... You know what, we'll just go to type elite players and save, and then we'll search. So if you look down there, ooh, Robert Ori, 88. That's the highest rated card that I've seen, which is probably why it's selling for 900,000 coins. But if you look down at the bottom, all these cards are like 149,000. The cheapest ones that I've seen are like 80,000 for Blake Griffin, and that's because he's a power forward and he's only an 84. Uh, we'll look the price max by it now of ninety thousand. There honestly might not even be any up right now. They got, there's two up, so one's a Blake Griffin and one's the Damian Lillard that got sniped because eighty five thousand for an elite point guard is a pretty good deal. But uh, I'm probably just gonna keep saving, wait till the prices go down a little bit, and I will probably get one in the future. Uh, might be doing a couple pack openings later, so keep an eye out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.